No, no, keep eating. No, I would never. It's just food for thought. <laughs> Don't! Hello! Welcome back to... What's Safe Word? I'm Amp. I'm Mr. Christopher. And today... We're doing a body harness. Specifically, the Alien Baby Body Harness by Midori. Yes, this is a great body harness that I actually learned in her Rope Dojo class. But we're going to show you a slight variation of it today. And we'll leave a link down below to Twisted Monk, which is where we get all of our wonderful rope, and Midori's classes to see when she's in your area. So the body harness actually originated in Japan, and the name for it itself is sometimes referred to as karata, which is the word for body in Japanese, and is the mixture of shell, like a tortoise shell, because you get a diamond shape, and diamond, because because there are diamond shapes included in this tie. I did not know that. <laughs> I learned so much on this show doing it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so for this tie, you're going to need one willing participant. Mm, I'm not yeah, well, <laughs> and 40 to 50 feet of rope. This will obviously depend on the person's size and height, but we're gonna start with, the, well, yep. <laughs> Today we are using Twisted Monk's TARDIS Blue rope. Daddy, do you like, know what a TARDIS is? Is it a turtle? African turtle. Oh my god. Tardis, <laughs> tortoise. How did we not make that joke? I just did. Do you even know who the doctor is? Doctor who? Dangerous question. So taking our rope, we're going to find the bite, which is the very center. There it is. And we're going to go ahead and start giving ourselves a few overhand knots. So from the bite here, we're going to go about a fist down and tie an overhand knot. So a loop and pulling the rope all the way through. So the first one should only be the size of your fist. So, this is a little big. What's also nice about these knots though is they're very easy to move up and down. So we're gonna go ahead and do two more overhand knots. Ah! <laughs> and again, with these knots, we should only have about a fist in between those two, see? So really easy to measure. Let's do one more. Can you give me a hand, Daddy? Perfect, three knots. Now you want the end to fall right above the belt line, um, above the crotch, and you bring the other rope over the head and drape it down the spine. So we split it and then go around to the back and we're gonna repeat the knots. Doing three knots down the back, similar to the front. And once we have the three knots in the back, we're gonna go and turn them around and continue from the front. Mm, this is where it gets fun. <laughs> <laughs> so down here, you can see that we have a little loop in front and this is where it gets the name Alien Baby. As we come through, the alien baby head comes out. <laughs> and this is important because this is how you remember that the rope comes over the top. Grab your rope. Through the loop. Pulling it all the way through. And then you split the rope coming up the crotch with the rope you just pulled through the loop. And go all the way down. And the way that you know you've done this right is when you pull it apart and up. <laughs> Careful of their junk and their naughty bits. You get a nice little triangle, just like that. Or a nice package. And you'll see that it gives you a nice little area to stimulate the package and, and lower regions. <laughs> as well as a triangle that can be used as a dildo harness. So this tie is great for all shapes, sizes, and body types. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and spin them around. And this is where we're gonna start lacing the body harness. Just gonna add to the tightness and make this really feel secure on him. For this part, we're gonna be pulling through and with our pinkies, going to grab and bring the ropes apart. You know you've done it right when you pull up and you see that the rope is twisted and locked into place. So let's do this again on the other side. Turning them around. <laughs> and we're gonna lace all the way up the body. And for the last spin, we're gonna come back in front, pulling that rope again through and getting the nice locks here and going to the back for the final tie. Pulling those ropes to the back. We're gonna go ahead and finish it right up here, going underneath and then just doing a nice overhand knot or you can just chain it up the side of the rope really, however you wanna finish it here is appropriate. And there you have it. How does that feel? Good. So this harness is really great because it's both functional and beautiful. People who are into bondage, you can wear it to a street fair just like this. It hugs you, it feels like a net wrapping around you. But 
I like it because it's functional. You can tie them just like that. You can tie their knees up to it. So again, this is the Midori Alien Baby Body Harness. <laughs> tie that is out of this world. <laughs> And sure to please your anus if you tie it properly. Oh God, <laughs> you just yeah, to get one in. I don't know, I think my jokes are pretty interstellar. <laughs> no. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> but whether you're the alien or the predator in this scenario, always have a safe word, and today's safe word is... Palomino. Because you, Dana, you, you know, pal Palomino. <laughs> Palomino. So thank you guys again for joining us. Again, are you testing the, the I'm bondage? I'm how strong oh, they are. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't forget to leave a comment down below if you enjoyed these bondage ties and let us know what you want to see next time. If you like it, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot more live streams and kind of live episodes here in the future. So subscribe, keep your eyes on all of our Twitter feeds and Instagrams. And this really feels good. Yep. I'm going to wear this for the rest of the day now. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Uh, get yourself out. My arms don't go up. <laughs> Subscribe to our Patreon uh, if you if you want to see extra content. We just did some blooper stuff this last week Help and that. surprises. Sur surprises. Surprises. That just for sur that is just just for. <laughs> I want a surprise. God damn it. <laughs> what? Points. <laughs>